Over to you, ladies and gentlemen. We have got a king snake from Mexico. Uh, Sue, can you tell us as much as you can about this amazing animal? Yeah, he was. He belonged to one of my volunteers who was going to go into the navy. He had about six snakes, and uh, Truffle, that was his name. Um, he was one of them. So I took Truffle in, and he's been quite a star actually because um, I can take him on photo shoots. Okay. You know, some some if so, like the last one he went on was a, for a black watch. Okay. I wanted to see, have a black snake wrapped around a black watch. And, well, you know, uh, so yeah, some of the sometimes I do photo shoots which are reasonably well paid, and if I can do those, I'm quite pleased because it helps to call the running costs. Yeah, there's a lot of running costs, yeah, there's a lot of running costs, the, plus a lot of time that you don't even get paid for. Well, no, you don't, people forget about that part of it. <laughs> well, I don't, I mean, it's not just the money it costs in electric and feeding them, it's obviously your personal time, too. Yeah, yeah. so you have definitely a very amazing woman, <laughs> and she is not amazing, ladies and gentlemen, to give all that time and love. He's a, he's an absolutely gorgeous boy. He is gorgeous. He really, he always performs really well when he goes on photo shoots, don't you? And Tom? how old is he? Um, well, I'm not sure how long Tom had him. As, Tom had him as a baby. Yeah. So Tom was twelve when uh, I moved here. Uh, no, Tom had him when he was four years old. So, um, and he was twelve when I moved here, and um, that's eight years ago. So we can. Eight. So he's probably about 16, isn't he now? 15 or 16. He's gorgeous. He's so he's slick. Boy. So he's slick, gorgeous, isn't he? Gorgeous. You're gorgeous. You, gorgeous you let him lick your nose? Yeah, why not? Wow. <laughs> You're really a bond with them, aren't you? I do love him, actually. He, they all love you. Uh, it took me a while to get... Cause, because Tom didn't really handle him a lot because he got he got frightened of him at one point. He okay. rang me up once saying, Sue, Sue, uh, Truffle's eating my sock. He was, <laughs> I don't know what, he was what his sock smells of, I do not know. But <laughs> it's just, it's Truffle's eating my sock, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I said, I said to him, we'll just pour some water over his head, you know, and he, he might let go of it. Like, yeah. You know. And uh, so he did, obviously he didn't eat the sock. Thank goodness. Yeah, could that um, kill him? <laughs> Well, yeah, will it come out the other end? Or exactly yeah. that, yeah. And then they have a very strong stomach acid. And yeah. as a king snake, yes. he's a snake-eating snake again. Like, well, he eats like, other snakes. Like uh, the Sunny. Wow. The Florida king. Yeah, he's a snake-eating snake, really. So the some of the small corn snakes that I've got here, yes. they, he would have those for dinner if he, if he could. Wow. But he's not... Um, and he's not going to have those for dinner. I've got a lady here, Jane Thompson. She said, I've got seven cats, a bearded dragon and two corn snakes. Oh. Anything you say, say about that? Well, look, that's lovely. I've never had bearded dragons. I've never taken in any... I've only just always specialised in snakes. Yeah. But I've, I've taken in cats, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, always had about three cats. I've only got one now. But well. I did always take in rescue cats. And, yeah, if we rescue, we rescue, don't we? Can be all sorts gorgeous. Of Look at you. A Mexican. This is a, I've never... He's so slick, isn't he? He's very... And is, what are their mannerisms like in the wild? Anything you know about their habitats and the way they live? Do they well, hibernate or whatever? And In Mexico, I don't think he would really... I wonder, I'm not sure about the temperatures in Mexico. How it get cooler? Does it get I think it's very, gets, cause it's right on the edge of America. Yes, I guess that much cooler. It I must think get cooler in the winter. It must do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think so you must hibernate. So they sort of semi hibernate. Look at the skin; it's so black. You it's know, gorgeous. Because he he stops eating now. He won't eat now until um, maybe we never know really. I just try them like maybe January, February, yeah. March. Whenever he feels like he wants to eat. So how come they're this colour? Is this through camouflage or disguising or? With, with um, I suppose they probably probably he I would have thought a snake like this would go down like tortoise holes or some hole that other animals would make. Yeah. You know I mean, hide underground. So he's so black, you would think he's part of the earth. Yeah, I think he'd probably go hide underground but, and. But, Come out uh, but can his mouth obviously open bigger than his uh, well, head? They don't open quite so wide when they're snake eating snakes. Okay. Yeah, because they because they because they they another snake. Yeah. Because I had um, an indigo snake, which is a Florida snake. Okay. They're black, much bigger than this. All right. And um and his mouth. If I gave him a rat too large, yeah, <laughs> he would he gung, and they can't chew. The jaw so just, like, drops the jaw to just, it. Go like this, and he would just tear the whole thing to pieces, all the skin off, and just make oh. a terrible mess. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I had to give him yeah. food that was the correct size, otherwise, you know. 
I've seen the ones on David Attenborough, the ones that are like 30 foot long, and they eat like, um, you see them eat like a goat or something. Yeah. And the whole bottom jaw drops, doesn't well, it? Well, the whole, none of the jaw is connected. Not, it's not connected like ours. Okay. It's all unconnected. Okay. Um, it's just connected by, by tissue, fibre. All right. And um, the, so it's five pieces like this. And it just opens up completely wide. It's amazing. Well, I hope you don't mind me asking you all these questions while I'm making these films. It's no. just to make people well, it's aware. Isn't it? Exactly that. Uh, that's what I mean. I'm into education. I love education. Well, I hopefully some big people love, will contact you and have, um, let you get these babies out more often yeah, because I love to go they're to amazing. Schools, you know, and do educational well, there you go. I, mean, I did a school recently. Yes. A couple of weeks ago. Where did I have to go? Tunbridge Wells. <laughs> that's quite a way out, isn't it? Because there's all these schools in Colchester and Clacton and Ipswich. Yeah. Well, why can't I go there? <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you know anyone that works in the schools around Clacton, Colchester, Harwich, Essex, let them know about Sue, what she can offer. What can you do for schools, by the way? Can well, you I remember? Do, you know, I can do so many classes. I do each class. Yep. Um, Fox at Malief. I can do an hour, really, but I can, with children's parties, do an hour and a half. So I Lovely. can do a long time, but normally with the schools, we do up to an hour, maybe yep. 45 minutes to an hour, and I sort of just uh, compress everything that I want to teach the children yes. into, like, smaller amounts, you know. Um, so I, I can do so many classes throughout the day. You know, I've done, in the past, I've done, like, six classes throughout the day, three in the morning, three in the afternoon. And how many snakes do you take with you on what well, a class if, is it? Yeah, if I do two classes, I can take six snakes and I can use the, two, the six snakes for both classes. The more classes I have, the more snakes I have to take because I have to swap them because you can't handle them all day. It's not fair. It's not fair on the snakes. No. What an amazing woman. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you know all that you know, and we're going to see some more snakes in a minute. And once again, thank you, Sue. <laughs> Shine on. <laughs> well, look, he's gone straight back into his habitat, hasn't he? Yeah, he's... Can you tell us what he's, what he's up to now and his man mannerism? He's, well, I think he's just going to go to sleep now because I disturbed him. He was in that little... He's not usually in that... He's usually in that one. Okay. And he was in that little pot there and he was really comfy, so I feel sorry, horrible. That's yeah. <laughs> what amazes me that some of these snakes are like 10 foot long, but they can crawl up into something that's like half I a know, foot long. You know, I, You'd you never... Know, I because you know, yeah, you just don't know. They're curled around, yeah. around like that. You, but, you, you know, wouldn't think it's that long, would you? Much bigger than you think they are. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, shine on. We love you.